Hello everyone. Let us see some examples of cursors and procedures. As we are totally aware of the theory, now let us do something practical. Here the question is write a PLSQL block to calculate total salary of first N records of EMP table. The value of N is passed to cursor as parameter. That means what we have to create a parameterized cursor. And what we have to find? We have to find total salary of what first N records. So number of employees, it is a number. Total salary is also a number. Then we are declaring a cursor, cursor EC, where the parameter is N number, is select star from employee salary, where employee number less than equals to N. That means what first N records we have to find. That is why the reason is that we have specified EMP number less than equals to N and RW that is record type is of which type of this cursor type okay begin and what we have to take we have to read the value of n from the user and according to the value of n you have to fetch the records then open cursor EC where we have to pass number of employees as an argument then loop fetch EC into R exit when EC percentage not found. That means if there are no more records, just exit from the cursor. Then what we have to do, we have to calculate the total salary. That is total salary is what? Total salary equals to RW, that is row count. EC ke andar hamari value hai RW dot cross salary plus total salary. Gross salary ka matlab kya hai? Jo aapke table ki gross salary hai, usi ko add karte jana hai total salary mein. This is what this is called self-replacement technique. And finally, after completion of the loop, you have to just display the total salary of the employees. Okay, so what we have done, we have passed the number of employees, that is number of records in the employee table as an argument to the cursor and according to this number, the records will be fetched and of that particular number of employees, the salary will be calculated. Next example is write a PLSQL code to update the salary of employees who earn less than the average salary less than the average salary. Pure ke pure employees, jitne bhi aapke company mein hai ya employee table mein hai, un sabhi ka total ki average se kam hai jin ki salary. Unko update karna hai. Average is number, BS that is basic salary, GS that is cross salary, difference that is difference between the two salaries. Cursor EC is select star from employee salary and a value that is, this is of row type RW, EC, percentage row type. EC row type ka hai ye RW. Then what we have to do? Select average salary into average from employee salary. And just display the average salary over here. Open EC loop fetch EC into RW. That means what we are fetching the value of EC, that is the cursor values into which record into RW and exit when EC percentage not found. Now if RW dot basic salary, jo humne cursor ke andar value fetch kari hai, wo basic salary jo hai, cursor ki basic salary jo hai, wo jo total average humne calculate kiya hai, usse kam hai. Then what we have to do, we have to find the difference of basic salary and the average and then update karna hai kaha par, we have to update in the table that is update employee salary set basic equals to average gross salary is equals to gross salary plus difference where employee number is equals to which employee number the employee number which we have selected in the cursor and then what we have to do select basic salary gross salary into bs gs from employee salary where emp number is equals to the number we have fetched in the cursor and accordingly display all the three values EMP number, gross salary and new gross salary which we have found. This is the program what it does. It just updates the salary of the employees who earn less than average salary. That is total average salary se kam hai salary. To uska updation hum karte hain in the table. 
i hope that you are clear with the concept of cursors up till now let us see another example of procedure write a plsql procedure to find number of students ranging from 100% to 70%, 69% to 60%, 69% to 50% and below 49% in each course from student course table given by the procedure as a parameter. That means what we have to pass the course name as an argument to the procedure. So create or replace procedure rank CRC that is course where care. We just have to specify the data type of the parameter when passing the parameter to the procedure is distinction number, first number, second number, pass number. These are cursor ST that is student is select star from student enrollment. R as ST percentage row type that is जो हमने cursor बनाया है उसी type का एक variable भी declare कर दिया है और वो variable कौन सा है R. Begin, just open the cursor, loop through the cursor, then fetch the cursor value into which variable? R. Exit when ST percentage not found. जब आपका एक भी record नहीं बचा है, तब आपको loop को terminate करना है. If R.course equals to CRC, means what? जो हमने value pass करी है course की, वो value equivalent है, जो आपका cursor ने fetch किया है record, then what? You have to check the percentage. Check the percentage means what? You have to check whether the percentage is greater or equal to 70 and percentage is less than equals to 100. Then distinction plus 1. Just increment the number of students who got the distinction. Then check for the percentage between 60 and 70. Then increment the students who got the first class. If percentage is between 50 and 60, then increment the students gaining second class. Next is what you have to check whether the student is past class or not and the percentage criteria is greater or equal to 35 and less than 50. Then increment the past class. And just close the loop, close the cursor. Then, distinction wale kitne students hai? Distinction mein a gai. Then, first class mein kitne students hai? First mein a gai. Second class mein kitne students hai? Second mein a gai. And, pass class mein jitne students hai? Woh, pass class mein a gai. Toh, basically, hum kya kar rahe hai? Given course ke andar kitne students ko first, second and third class mila hai? Woh, check kar rahe hai. Next program is, write a PLSQL function that accepts department number and returns the total salary of the department. Also write a function to call the function. Means what we are writing a function which is calling another function. And we are just finding the total salary of given department. And we are creating a function. Create or replace function total salary of department where department number is passed as an argument and we are returning a number. And total salary is initialized to zero. Then what we are doing, we are just finding the sum of the salary. That is select some salary into total salary from works where department number is equals to DNO. That is the value which we have passed. Return the total salary. And we are just displaying the department information over here. Fine. That is we are writing a function just we are writing a simple function. I am leaving this function code to you because here I am just writing a simple anonymous block where I am just calling the function total salary and passing department number one as an argument. Here the question is what? Write a function to call the function. But I have written a simple anonymous block and the exercise is up to you to write a function to call the function.